Hey Goldie Squad, I'm Simone. As you may know, I'm the queen of scrappy robots and I usually build things that don't work, but sometimes I take a break from work and I build some stuff that are actually kind of nice. Actually not scrappy at all. They're actually not useless at all. They're, they're not even robots. This is throwing me into like a philosophical life crisis right here. If I don't build useless things, can I still be the queen of scrappy robots? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I can totally do that too. Being the queen of a fictional nation is the best. I haven't had to cut a single ribbon and there's no law to be upheld or anything. Recently I've built all of this furniture and I really want to show you some of it because I'm really proud of it. Okay, here we go. First project. Wait, I need some safety glasses. Not actually on my eyes, I just need them on my head. I needed some sort of hardware organizer, so I made this out of copper plumbing. These big ones are just end caps and then they're attached to the smaller copper pipe using tube clamps and they just like swivel around and you can put random things in it. It like works really well and it's like fun to move around. And it was actually really simple to make. It was just a lot of holes to drill, but other than that, it was easy peasy standing on my toes because I'm trying to be in frame. Maybe I have like something I can stand on. No. I really like when things change proportion. So like when big things become small or small things become big. I needed a place to hang my clothes and I thought it would be fun to make a big coat hanger where I could hang my smaller coat hangers. So I made this. Coat hanger, coat hanger, coat hanger square. I use this really cool tool for it called the Shaper Origin. Basically it's like a handheld CNC mill. So I designed this coat hanger in Illustrator. You just upload it to the Origin and you get like plywood or whatever material you want to cut it out of. And you just like hold the CNC roughly over the path. And then it like corrects it for you. And it makes like this really smooth edge. There's a video on Tested of when I make this coat hanger. So check that out. There's a link in the description and you can have all the coat hangers you want. Psst. Psst. All the coat hangers. Okay, last project. I finished this just yesterday and yeah, it's just like a side table that looks like a school. So I made this out of 32 layers of three quarter inch plywood. I cut each layer individually in three different steps using a router and then I just like screwed and glued them together and it took me two days just to make like the, the wooden part of it. Then I burnished this top using a soldering iron and I varnished the whole thing and the thread that's wrapped around is actually this fabric cable. And in the end here we have a little light bulb that we can turn on. Wait. Ooh, so nice. Also, I just want to point out that the cable that's wrapped around it doesn't actually carry any current because then this whole thing would be like a huge magnetic coil. Yeah, studying physics in college for one year at least taught me that. Right hand rule. Also, just this needle in itself took two days to make. My good friend Marcus, who's a fabricator, helped me make it and like figure out how to do it. Cause I was like, I need a giant needle. And he was like, okay, we'll figure it out. What we did was we got this like solid aluminum rod and we lathed it. And then we flattened the fascia and made the eyelet itself using a milling machine. And then we just like polished it and got three layers of epoxy on it just to protect the surface. And also that it like keeps its shine. And just like that, you have a spool. I like spool so much. I just want to bring spool everywhere. Work into the doctor's office and to, to the grocery store. I just, I just want to be with spool forever. Don't you dare to say anything mean about spool. Because spool is great. I love spool. It's funny because when I posted these projects, people have been all upset and like, wait, this doesn't suck at all. Why did you post this? Oh, oh, oh gosh, don't. Take it away, take it away. Well, thanks for keeping me on brand, I guess. See you later, Goalie Squad.